Governor Ducey was out in Coolidge this morning celebrating a new state of the art manufacturing center. It'll help train hundreds of people for everything from truck driving to operating heavy equipment. And while he was there, the governor also took questions about the border and education in Arizona. Here's our political editor, Dennis Welch. And the governor very much would like to get back to talking about economic development. This is an issue he is comfortable with. This is an issue that helped him get elected, but he is still dealing with questions about the pandemic, the ongoing fallout, while he's also ramping up his rhetoric about the border. Yeah, we've got a broken border in southern Arizona. Governor Doug Ducey continued to hammer the White House over the current surge of migrants at the border, where currently there are more than 18,000 children in custody of the U.S. government. And Ducey went on to say that former President Trump was just better at the border. The previous administration policies did a lot to solve and dramatically improve the situation at the border. So you see where all the robots go. The governor's comments came after he touted a win for his economic development agenda, showing off the latest technology at a new manufacturing training facility at Central Arizona College. While this program will train workers for the jobs of tomorrow, there are still many Arizonans hurting financially from the pandemic today like the 150 teachers laid off in Gilbert because of a drop in enrollment. We're going to put the dollars into K-12 education, and then we're going to, going to let our uh, dis district superintendents make the decisions on what they need inside their schools. But the governor is supportive of efforts to fully or partially repeal Proposition 208, the voter-approved ballot initiative aimed at boosting education funding by about $900 million. And when asked if he's willing to tap the rainy day fund to help teachers out, he was unclear. The rainy day fund, of course, is for a rainy day, and boy, have we been through it this past year. And that rainy day fund still has about a billion dollars left in it. Now, the governor says he hasn't had to tap that pot of money because of all the money coming from the federal government right now. And the governor also said that he doesn't want to just spend money to spend money. In Coolidge, Dennis Welch, Arizona's Family.